Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Chronicles Baseball. A dual case break, 32 total boxes, random team break number one. And at the end of the break, giving away a Jersey Fest spot. Big thanks to this folks, these this folks, these folks for getting in on the action. Congrats again to the winners of those spots and those two fillers. All 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams one and three, four times. One, two, three, four. And a one, fourth and final time. We got Dustin down to Dustin. One and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. We got the Brew Crew down to the Giants. All right, Dustin with the Brewers, Eric with the Angels, Dustin with the Rays, Astros and Marlins, Rick with the Rockies, Chad with the A's, Matthew with the Diamondbacks, Isaac with the Yankees, Alan with the Cubs, Ed with the Mets, Rex with the Braves, Chad Daw with the uh, Red Sox, Chris with the Phillies, Nestor with the Nationals, Chad D with the Twins, um, Chad DeBenny with the Twins. We got three different Chads in here. We got Chad Daw, we got Chad DeBenny, there's Kyle, there's Derek, uh, Kyle with the Rangers, Derek with the Royals, a uh, Chad Cromwell. Chicago White Sox, Mark with the Cardinals, Nancy with the Tigers, Chad with the Reds, Dustin with the Mariners and Pirates, Chad with the Guardians, Sam with the Padres, Matthew with the Blue Jays, Dustin with the Orioles, Matthew got my Dodgers, last spot Mojo Star next to your name, Dustin with the San Francisco Baseball Giants, my rivals. Let's sort these by column B by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, then the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals done here in this Chronicles dual case break. 32 boxes. Big thanks, everyone, for getting in on it. Appreciate it. Sorry, Chad Daw. Make sure you're watching live. The trade window is closed. Make sure you click that live button, everybody. That way you make sure you're at the most current point of the stream. And you don't miss things like the trade window. All right, here's the first case. Boxes. Let's line up. Let's line up here. There you go. Got a Zach Short autograph, rookie auto for Detroit. That's going to go to Nancy and the Tigers. And we got a Kumar Rocker autograph, 15 out of 15. that other one numbered? No, the Nancy. So wait, where does, where does Kumar Rocker go? Wow. 
Kumar Rocker is a Ranger. Zach Short, I think, is 5'10". Pretty sure. Texas, that'll be for Kyle Cook. Josh Lowe, 5 out of 10. We got Mike Trout, piece of his jersey. Got an O'Neill Cruz to 50, a redemption. Trout goes to Eric and the Halos. Piece of his jersey. These marquee cards just on the thicker side? Yeah. Uh. And the redemption is Vidal Brujan for the uh, Rays. And that'll be for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Dustin and the Rays. Yeah, he he's not Zach Short is not short. He's he's he is an above average height. I think we have until Thursday, right? I think we, I think we have until Thursday before uh all the club options or player options and opt-ins and opt-outs can happen. We're qualifying offers too, I think. I think all that is this week. So then we'll start to see how the, uh, how the rest of the market starts to emerge. Kershaw probably goes back to the Dodgers, I think, is, is going to be the player. Zach Short again. Another autograph for Nancy in Detroit. Bobby with junior rookie cards going to Derek. Say a Suzuki autograph for the Cubs. That's going to be for Alan Murdoch. Not numbered, Alan. And I'll do a recap at the end of this break, too. There's Luis Frias to 199. Where does Aaron Judge end up? There's Aaron Judge, America's pastime relic for the Yankees. That's for Isaac and the Yankees. Not numbered. The redemption is Spencer Torkelson for Nancy and the Tigers. Nice. And all these... these Torkelson rookie cards are going to go to you as well. Jose Ramirez. Key Brian Hayes. MLBTradeRumors.com still independent after 17 years? Wow. I could have sworn they were like they had to be a, you know, a side project bought out by some, some media conglomerate or something like that. But no. Yeah, apparently the, there's a 
post on there saying there's no corporate overlords here at MLBTradeRumors.com. So I'm by just one guy, me, Tim Durkies. Huh. Interesting. Well, good for them. It's Connor Siebel to 199. And Bobby Wood Jr. jersey. Just a piece of his jersey going to the Royals. That'll be for Derek Jimenez. Yeah, MLBTradeRumors.com, one of my favorite websites. They do a good job there. There's a Wander Franco rookie card and a Mike Trout certified card. All those Wander Francos will be going to uh, Dustin and the Rays. There's Jake McCarthy for Matthew. Matthew Linder and the Diamondbacks. That Jaron Duran card was number 25. Sorry, I missed that. I think all cards ship in this, so if I miss something, don't worry. Our, our shipping team will be able to catch it. Here's Matt Brash, rookie ticket autograph for Seattle. That's going to go to Dustin. There's Jaron Duran. And Andre Jackson certified. And Thomas Zabuki, one of one, championship ticket autograph. A train whistle. And I'm, I'm certain that he is a metropolitan, right? Yes, he's a Met. And that's going to be for Ed. Ed P. and the Metropolitans, congrats to you. That one of one is on its way to you. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, another box down. Many more to go. So Rex is doing a little research. You need some Spencer Strider, Acuna, Chipper. Never had an auto of any of them. All right, Rex does have the Braves. Let's see what we can get for him. I feel like that's the order of difficulty. I think Strider's probably the easiest to pull, easier to pull than Acuna, and then Chipper Jones is probably the hardest to pull. Auto-wise. Gilo needs some more Bo Jackson autographs. There's your World Series MVP, Jeremy Pena. There's Romy Gonzalez. Love that Spectra design. That's going to go to uh, the White Sox, Chad Cromwell. 44 out of 49. Chaz McCormick, rookie ticket autograph. Cracked ice to 23 for Houston. That's for Dustin. Curtis Terry to 199. O'Neill Cruz, America's pastime relic for the Pirate. That's going to be for Dustin.
Oh, Chipper's only relics. Could be a one-of-one -one relic for Chipper Jones. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Julio Rodriguez. I don't think I've seen too many rookie cards of his. I was looking for those. Right, it's got to be your presumptive AL Rookie of the Year. Uh, some, some of these are numbered on the back, but just in the interest of time. I'll try to catch as much of these as possible, but I wish they put them all on the front. It might make my life a lot easier. And the arbitrary cards flipped around. All right, there's Reese Nair, 81 out of 99. Draft ticket autograph for the Padres. That'll be for Sam. That was just Jazz Chisholm. A couple other cards there. I don't know why these cards are just arbitrarily flipped around. Doesn't, doesn't make sense. Bobby Witt had stats close to J-Rod. Really? I don't think so. Yeah, J-Rod had hit 284, 28 home runs, 25 stolen bases. I mean, Bobby Witt didn't hit nearly as well. 20 Hit 254, only 20 home runs, a little more stolen bases. J-Rod's OPS is 853 compared to Bobby Witt's 722. And uh, Bobby Witt's war was only 0 0.9. Julio Rodriguez's war, 6.2. Pretty stark difference there. Drew Ellis autograph, studio auto to 99. That's for Arizona. You know, they used to not lean as heavy on wins above replacement, but I think in more recent years, they have leaned more heavily to that because that seems to be a more broad overview of, you know, the player's uh, quality overall, just not the counting stats. There's Brent Honeywell. So Drew Ellis goes to Matthew Linder and the Diamondbacks. The Brent Honeywell Spectra autograph goes to Chad and the A's. That's to 25. And I want to say that the last we checked a few weeks ago that the, the odds-on favorite was also Julio Rodriguez. Say a Suzuki. Got a bit of the Cubs pinstripe right there. That's going to go to Allen and the Cubs. And we got a Jacob Robeson 
for Nancy and the Tigers. So as of mid-September, which I think is when voting ends maybe, or end of September, the AL Rookie of the Year favorites, according to Caesars, was minus 2,500, really heavy favorite. Bobby Wood Jr. was plus 50,000, 500 to 1. There's an Otto Lopez for the Rangers. Gavin Sheets, draft ticket autograph for the White Sox. 12 out of 75. That'll be for Chad. It's Kyle Tucker for the Astros. That'll be for Dustin. my first Chronicles box today. Oh, yeah? Any. You feel free to do 20 more boxes if you like. Yeah. <laughs> How many are there? 16 of a case? Yeah, 16 to a case. There's Ronzi Contreras, jersey and autograph. For the Pirates, that's for Dustin. 51 out of one. Nine. Actually, this is my first Chronicles, too, so... Because I only did two for the fillers. Oh, the fillers, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was my first look at it, so I'm actually... Kind of interested in how this okay. how this looks, yeah. A lot of these chronicles, a lot of times they use these to uh, to kind of preview like potential product. Mookie bets to one ninety nine crusade card. So like I don't think there's an obsidian baseball, right? But you can kind of get an idea of obsidian baseball or maybe recon baseball. And sometimes they'll release those products as its own thing. Like a Phoenix baseball would be pretty cool. I wonder cool. why. They, how did they decide that? Like, oh, did the feedback come back? Like, oh, I, they must. It must product? because they did Spectre baseball one year. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Like, but like, like who is it? Like, is there like a poll? A room voting? I mean, you know. a I see the studio patch autograph that look really cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, Panini watches a lot of breaks. They got teams that watch a lot of breaks. They get feedback from breakers, from distributors, and you know, I'm pretty sure every video I did of like Chronicles baseball, I was like, man, they should do a Spectre baseball. You know, I'm sure I was. <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't the only one saying that, so I'm sure they were like, "All right, yeah, let's let's put." Because they did it. One, I don't think they do it every year, right? No. But they did it that one year, and it was pretty cool. So they kind of throw us like a little sampler platter. They kind of throw this out here, and they'd be like, yeah, "Let's let's see how people react to some of the cards." I think it's an interesting way to do it. It's easy for them yeah. to to preview something and be like. Let's see what the feedback is going to be. Maybe they'll do a design and be like, everyone's like, yeah, that recon is terrible or whatever, you know. And then they'll be like, well, we were planning on doing recon and now not anymore. So AL Rookie of the Year favorites. This is back in mid-September, corner Caesar. So Julio Rodriguez was the odds-on favorite. Then it was Adley Rushman plus 1,000. Then it jumps to George Kirby plus 10,000. Jose Miranda, Stephen Kwan, Felix Bautista, Jeremy Pena, Bobby Wood Jr., MJ Melendez, and Brock Burke. Did they um, did they announce the Rookie of the Year finalists yet?
Not sure why. And MLB is just... I feel like they're pretty terrible about how they should be on the very front page of the... Oh, I guess... No, the, but the finalists have to be announced. Yeah, so the Rookie of the Year finalists are Stephen Kwan, Julio Rodriguez, and Alex uh, Adley Rushman. So my guess is it's going to be Julio Rodriguez from, from that group of three. What about uh, your NL Rookie of the Year? may not be as clear. Brendan Donovan, Michael Harris, and Spencer Strider. Who does everyone think gets the, uh, gets the Rookie of the Year there? I think according to that, according to the odds... Michael Harris was minus 320, but Spencer Strider is plus 210. Brandon Donovan's plus uh, 50,000, 500 to 1. So it's looking like it's going to be Harris or, or Strider. That, that actually is a lot, a lot closer than I thought. There's a John Heasley autograph for Kansas City. That's going to be for Derek and the Royals. Yeah, Quan had a really great season. But I think it's, it's going to be Julio Rodriguez on that side. And then on the NL, I mean, Spencer Strider had a really great, really great season. I think it's going to be him. There's Shane Boz. Five out of five fame ticket autograph. That's for the Rays, Dustin and the Rays. Dustin, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Bo Bichette, Toronto. That's going to be for Matthew and the Blue Jays. And Connor Wong, studio autograph. These are pretty cool too. 52 out of 99. Sort of a nice, like sort of clean, artsy photography sort of look here. Now, no one has any thoughts on the NL Rookie of the Year or AL Rookie of the Year? It's just me and you, Gilo? What about AL MVP? Jordan Alvarez, Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani are your final. It's got to be Aaron Judge, right? I think he was the he was the favorite towards the towards the end. You can make a case for both the other guys, Otani especially, but I feel like the I feel like the writers are gonna the baseball writers of America are gonna side with Aaron Judge this year. Goldschmidt, Arenado, and Manny Machado MVPs. Hmm. I feel like I feel like Goldschmidt, right? Maybe Manny Machado. And Goldschmidt was chasing the uh, the triple crown. I think his counting stats are are better than the other two finalists. Yeah, the Redbirds have two finalists, Cardinals. Yeah, the, so the Braves have two Rookie of the Year finalists, and the Cardinals have two NL MVP finalists. I don't know if that happens very often. There's Trevor Larnock, Obsidian Autograph for the Twins, Chad DeBenny. Pretty cool. That's an autograph. That's Whit Merrifield. Blue ink on. They, may, they might want to change that ink up, but I don't know what this set is. It's from Spectra.
But that's really cool. I wish it was a different ink, though. Derek Jimenez, I sort of like that design right there. Oh, color graph, I see. Hmm. I like that. Fernando Tatis Jr., piece of his jersey. For San Diego, that's for Sam. Stand up. Oh yeah, I guess that kind of does look like a like the brick wall of a of a comedy club, right? Like Jerry Seinfeld or something like that. What's the deal with spectra autographs? Uh, they should be silver ink, not blue ink. The redemption is Joe Ryan for the Twins. Chris, what's going on? Chris Jaspian, that I thought that having two teammates finish top three MVP games. But maybe my base going to Ryan Bronson so back in Prince Fielder finish third, huh? Yeah, I think that's. It doesn't happen too often, though, that's the thing. Chad DeBenny with the Twins. All right, next box, another hour and a half. So I think this first half took me about half an hour. Yeah, all right, so that's what I thought. It's about a two-hour break. I hope they were, Rex. I wouldn't want to get ringworm from that jersey. Chris, who do you have finishing? Uh, who do you have in all the all the awards? think the uh, there's Juan Yepes, there's Wander Franco, Bobby Wood Jr., Nick Fortes, rookie autograph for Miami, Dustin Kemp. I really think Major League Baseball does a terrible job at, uh, well, I think we already know this, right? They do a terrible job marketing like individual players, you know, but the award show too. Why not? Why isn't there like an award show? Why are we watching like the awards kind of stretched out over three or four days. You get, you get like Zoom interviews with the guys. You know, I guess it's cool seeing like cameras inside their family's houses, but it's just like, I don't know. Why not put some real weight to these awards? Why not like have an awards night in Hawaii? Maybe they don't think you can get players out there during the off season, but I mean they can do it in spring training. There's Giovanni Mor uh, Moran for Minnesota. That'll be for Chad. Oh, do do the award show in spring training or something like that. Like just before pitchers and catchers report, you know, they have them show up the weekend before in like Vegas or something or in like Hawaii. Have a whole night, have everyone get dressed up, do a whole thing, have a cool host, make guys do some speeches, you know. Well, Rex, considering I work here, I, I do know that. I do know that. 
Ooh, and a Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. Nice. That will be for Derek Jimenez and the Kansas City Royals. And we'll never be Royals, Royals. You can be with me and baby I'll rule, I'll rule, I'll rule, I'll rule that fancy. There's Reese Nair for the Padres. That'll be for Sam Rail. They'll probably have it blacked out. Yeah, they probably they'll probably mess that up somehow, right? The award show. That's what they should do. NBA does it, right? And if does NFL do it? I think the NFL does it. If they, I mean, even if they don't, even if those other sports don't do, it. I, hockey does it. They've got they've got fancy uh, they got. That fancy award that they give out for for the NHL awards, and they do a whole a whole night, a whole gala. It seems pretty exciting. Randy Marsh is Lord. I don't know what that means. Who's Randy Marsh? Oh, 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 Stan's dead, right? That just seems sounded so out of context. I was like, wait, what? Oh, it's an episode of South Park, I see. I see. There's Matt Manning. And the redemption is Wander Franco. Nice. I got a Bobby Wood Jr. autograph and a Wander Franco autograph. That's going to go to Dustin and the Tampa Bay Rays. This is Jose Siri. Piece of his jersey going to Dustin and the Strohs. We got a Hoyon Park for the Pirates. That'll be for Dustin. Yeah, you, if Keenan Thompson can host an angel, you don't you don't think they could you don't think they can have a fun uh, major league baseball uh, award night show? Could be like a random Friday night or something, Monday night something. I'll watch it. Otherwise, they just kind of it just kind of strings out and it just it doesn't doesn't really. Doesn't really, the awards show really isn't that exciting. It's not well. It's not really a show. It's just like well, tune in tomorrow and we'll reveal a couple more winners of stuff. We just all knock it out in one night, one big production. All right, it's Curvin Castro for Dustin and the Giants. Sure. Celebrity baseball fan, John Hamm, Brian Cranston, Billy Crystal, they, 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 they'd host a uh, baseball award show. It doesn't have to be that long. It could just be a three-hour show or something like that. You announce rookies of the year, Cy Youngs, MVPs, you know, have some live music, run a, run a season highlight pack or something like that. Do the whole red carpet thing. Allow some of the kids to show off their their fashion sense. You know, there'd be there'd be parties afterwards. You know, uh, 
there's 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 lots of ways that's lots of ways you can do it to all the manager of the year awards there too there's 11 out of 18 Shane Boz Tim Anderson. All right, Keegan Michael Key did the NA, the NFL show. Rob Riggle did the ESPYS, you know, and the and the ESPYS are just made up awards. At least baseball awards have like, you know, have like tradition behind it. You know, they name those awards too. I think they've named, there's a Joan Adon autograph to 99. A little bit of a little ding or dent right there on the back, but that'll go to Washington. That'll be for Nestor. Like, I think the AL, I mean, they could even do the Silver Sluggers and AL, NL batting title awards and all that sort of stuff. And they could really start branding them too, because I think they named the AL batting title award after Rod Carew, I want to say. You know, they could be like, hey, here's the winner of the Rod Carew batting title. You know, the AL batting title for the best hitter in, in the AL or something like that. They could really lean into all that sort of stuff. Have old have old ball players, old school guys come in and, and you know, do the announcement for the awards and the nominees are. Forty-seven out of seventy-five. Do this award show. Put me in the writers' room, Rob Manfred. Put me in the writers' room. I'll come up with all sorts of things for the uh, for this award show. Do silver sluggers, gold gloves. box right 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 we just got to make sure no one no one gets uh no one gets slapped during the mlb award show although that i mean that might bring some visibility to the mlb award show you know maybe some rival players just really get into it And I think there's also like, you know, there's a lot of awards. They do like the, forget what it is. Maybe it's the Roberto Clemente Award for like a player nominated. I, I think there's a player nominated from each team for the Roberto Clemente Award. And you can win this award. It's an award for achievements in public service or something like that in the community. And, you know, that could be at the award show. There's Chaz McCormick. Mookie Betts. The Origins Auto going to uh, the Astros. Dustin with the Strohs. <laughs> Best bench is clearing brawl. That that sounds like something that will be at the ESPYs. Jordan Alvarez going to Dustin and the Astros. We got a Kyle Muller, nine out of twenty-three, cracked ice, autograph for uh, the Braves. Rex on the board with Kyle Muller. Yeah, you got you guys are in the ESPYS writing room. Best bench clearing brawl. 
Best exit by a manager who got ejected from a game. Worst opening pitch. Tony Santolin, RPA for Cincinnati. That's going to be for Chad. Yeah, these always mess with me. If they're flipped around, I always think, is that going to be an autograph? Oh, see, the Roberto Clemente was already given out. So Jason Hayward got it for the... For the Cubs? Isn't it just one winner? Well, he's a nominee, but did he end up winning it? Oh, award winners. No, Justin Turner won it here in 2022. And you always got to fact check Rex. Um, yeah, the, the, he was a nominee. And then they, then they select one. They have a nominee for each team. And then they have, uh, they have a winner for it. I didn't even realize it was Justin Turner until I just looked it up, though. <laughs> yeah, he, he got the nomination, not the winner, though. Um, the uh, But, I mean, like, why is that? But, but see, Rex, you bring up a, the perfect point. Why is that award... Buried in the middle of, you know, after the World Series and the off season, whenever this award came out, like why not give, you know, all these winners of this great public service award, why not give them their their you know their moment to step up in front of a crowd and in front of a, a award show audience and be able to be like, hey, you know, and then maybe highlight the award, do all that stuff all in one, all in one night. Would be nice. Maybe the players don't want to do it. Maybe, maybe it's a, maybe, maybe I just assume that the players want this. Maybe they don't want to do it. It's Cutter Crawford for Boston. That'll be for Chad. Nick Fortes is your autograph. That'll be for Dustin. To Wander Franco, Crusade card to two ninety nine. That's nice. Dustin with the Tampa Bay Rays. Also get this other Wander Franco as well. And that's an O'Neill Cruz rookie autograph. Pittsburgh. That's gonna be for Dustin. Some nice hits popping here. Got another Bobby Wood Jr. There's another Adone for Brian Hayes and Shane Boss.
Juan Yepes, rookie autograph. Say a Suzuki to one ninety nine. Wander Franco, Tim Anderson. A Glenn Otto Otto. Another Wander Franco, a Colton Welker. All right, Tim Anderson goes to Chad and Chicago, the White Sox. The Glenn Otto Auto, that's a nice patch in there, too. That'll go to the Rangers. That'll be for Kyle Cook. 13 out of 25. Colton Welker autograph will go to Rick T and the Rockies. Say a Suzuki for the Cubs for Allen. And on the other side of the city, Chad in the White Sox gets the Gavin Sheets. And a Lars Nootbar. Look at that patch. That's really cool. That's for the Cardinal. That must be a really low number. Mark, Mark L. Stand by. Number is, number is not there. Now, you know what, usually in Spectra, it's a really low number, but I don't see it. Or maybe my eyes are not working right now. But it's still a cool hit. Dual Relic and Autograph for the Cardinals. Mark. Matt Manning autograph will be for Nancy and the Tigers.
Wonder, Bobby Witt, Ryan Vallad, Orange Origins Autograph. Sorry, Daniel, this is going to be the last break of the night. Unfortunately, unfortunately for, for you, that uh, Chronicles Baseball dual case break filled up. It's a two hour break. It's going to take us, I got another hour to go here, so we're going to do that first thing tomorrow. That's Rick T with the Rockies. Matt Veerling, 75. That'll be for the Phillies, Chris Parent. And that thick card sock there. Prospects patch and auto. Nice patch to Mark Vientos for the Mets. Seems a bad batch of colors here. This keeps cracking on the side. These are much better. Goes to Ed and the Mets. 15. All right, next box. Byron Buxton for Chad D and the Twins. Glenn Auto Auto, 14 out of 25. America's Passtime Auto for Kyle and the Rangers. Top loaders. 
sometimes you just get some It's just that one. No, oh, this one too. Ooh, and a Wander Franco to twenty five. Nice season ticket, cracked ice, Dustin with the Rays. And a Juan Yepes autograph for St. Louis. That's going to be for Mark. Jose Siri, Cracked Ice Autograph for Dustin and the Astros. box. Mike Bowman, one out of 23, rookie ticket cracked ice, Donner's Contenders Optic Autograph. It's for Dustin and the Orioles. Out of 23, the classic cracked ice number. It's Jake Berger to 199. For Chad Cromwell and the White Sox. Tucker, a piece of his jersey for Houston. That's going to go to Dustin. Got an Aaron Ashby for the Brewers. Dustin with the spot that he won.
14 out of 15, Mario Feliciano. Brewers for Dustin. We got Ronnie Dawson for the Red Legs. It's Chad Cromwell with Cincinnati Recon autograph. Another Bobby? No. It's going to, thought it was going to be another autograph. There's O'Neill Cruz. That's an autograph. Nice rookie patch auto. Some nice color there. For uh, Dustin Kemp and the Pirates. Nice one, Dustin. 20 out of Oh, and that Connor Siebold relic goes to Chad Daw and the Red Sox. Max Kranick autograph for the Pirates. That'll be for Dustin. Mason Thompson for Nestor and the Nats. Spencer Schrider, autograph, 3 out of 20. Goes to Rex and the Braid. This might be a Rookie of the Year, Rex. Now you're, now you're rooting for him to be Rookie of the Year. Drew Ellis will go to Matthew.
There's Riley Adams, 30 out of 49. Nestor. The Nats. Mike Trout to All right. We got Joe Ryan, America's pastime autograph, 49 out of 99. That's for Chad D and the Twins. Blur's broken too. That one's broken too. Gotta get the good ones here. Jake Latz and the Rangers, that'll be for Kyle. And the Tim Anderson will be for Chad and the White Sox. And Ozzy Albies for Rex, the Braves, not numbered. Mookie Betts to 199, and the Cal Raleigh, gold. That's got to be the 10, right? It is two out of three out of 10. Mariners, Dustin, Dustin Kemp, getting a lot of nice stuff here, including all these Julio Rodriguez's and any that I may have missed over the course of this break. And Luis Free is 32 out of 99 studio autograph. It's for uh, Matthew Linder and the Diamondbacks. And a Colton Welker autograph, 58 out of 75 draft ticket auto for the Rockies. It'll be for Rick T. Rick T with the Rocks.
Joe Barlow autograph for Kyle and the Rangers. Say a Suzuki autograph. That's going to be for Allen and the Cubs. Rookie auto for the Cubs. I don't think it's numbered. No, but from that certified design. The Angels, you get that Shohei Otani. And a Jeremy Pena Elite Autographs. Nice one for Houston. That is uh, your World Series rookie, rookie of the World Series MVP, Dustin with the Strohs. Gabriel Arias for Cleveland. That looks going to be for Chad. Not numbered on that one. Jordan Alvarez. Autograph. Deep Space Auto. That's, that's kind of a cool insert. Silver Ink Auto. There you go. They got the color of the auto right. Then that's for Dustin Kemp in Houston. It's 13 out of 15. That's pretty cool. Andre Jackson to 99. And Albert Pujols, America's pastime relic for the Cardinals. That'll be for Mark. And we got a redemption that is Mark Vientos, who I think is a Met. He is. New York Mets, that's going to be for Ed. Obsidian autograph. It'll kind of look like that. Except with ink on it.
Khalil Watson, 14 out of 25 for the Marlins. That'll be for Dustin. Got a Freddie Freeman to 25, certified for the Dodgers. Another Dodger, Walker Bueller. Piece of his jersey going to Matthew Linder. Wander Franco and Brian Dela Cruz Studio Autograph Gold. 12 out of 25. Wow, that gold gold foil really pops on that. That's gonna be for Dustin and the Marlins. Different from the, the other foil there. I like that. Snare autograph, that's 53 out of 99. For the Padres, Sam. The, just the outside came off, not the entire pack itself. Rodolfo Castro, some great penmanship there. That's going to go to Dustin and the Pirates. Is that numbered? No, not numbered. Robert Suarez, Wander Franco. Tim Anderson, America's Pastime Relic. That's for the White Sox, that's for Chad C. It's Mike Bowman, America's Pastime Relic and Autograph this time. 10 out of 25. Orioles, Dustin Kemp. The hits just keep on coming. Luke Williams, 57 out of 99 for Miami. Another one for Dustin. Draft ticket autograph.
Jake Berger autograph, 93 out of 99 for Chad Cromwell in Chicago. Bobachet. Arzarania is to 25. The Bobachet relic is for the Blue Jays, Matthew Linder. Spencer Torkelson, Patrick Mazika, Mets, Ed, three color patch and autograph, that's to 99. Jackson Kowar to 35 for the Royals. That'll be for Derek. These cards are so slippery. Got Peyton Henry for Miami. That's for Dustin. And the redemption is Wander Franco. Look at that. Rookie playoff ticket autograph. Another one for Dustin Kemp and the Rays. Nice. That's the kind of stuff we want to see. And that is rookie playoff ticket Wander Franco. Nice. And you'll get all these Wander Francos too. And a gold rush Bobby Witt, that doesn't, we've ripped a lot of boxes. I won't, this is the first one I've seen of these, so this must be a short print. That goes to Derek and the Royals. Gold rush Bobby Witt Jr. Mason Thompson to 199, another Bobby Witt Jr. John Heasley, piece of his jersey for the Royals. Park for the Pirates. Domingo Acevedo autograph. And Trey Mancini.
Oh, that Domingo Acevedo autograph from Zenith. The Zenith design for Chad Cromwell 8. Yeah, I guess they did, Rex. It's just you and me in this one. I guess I could have just could have just paused this break. I could just do it tomorrow. No one would notice. Except for you. You'd notice. Spencer Strider to 199. Juan Yepes autograph for the Cardinals. That's for Mark. Kyle Tucker for the Astros, that's for Dustin. Robbie Wood Jr. I hate that these cards are flipped around, why is that? And Ronzi Contreras, studio autograph. Five out of twenty five. That is for Dustin and the Pirates. Oh, it is numbered, yeah, right there. Five out of twenty five on that one, Dustin. Carlos Craig at 10. I knew that looked a little different. Wander Franco. Matt Manning, Matt Veerling, the Mats. To 75, Thomas and Puki for Ed and the Mets. So, Jason, did I arrive too late? Too late for breaks? Yes. No, there are not. But we'll be back tomorrow. At uh, Jason will be here at 11 a.m. Pacific with all the new releases. Remember, Jason, you can always look at the uh, break schedule that's dropped in the chat by Nightbot. That'll tell you exactly what's happening now, what's coming up, if anything, and what we've done in the, during the day as well. So it's a little resource that you could use. I use it too. Sometimes I I forget what we've what we done over the course of the day or what I'll uh, what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, Jason. Got plenty of new releases tomorrow. Well, yeah, there'll be a lot of things to do. There's a Jacob Robeson for the Tigers. That'll be for Nancy. Not numbered. Leo Rodriguez. Ka 
Camilla Duvall for the Giants. That'll be for Dustin. One ninety nine. Kyle Tucker to one hundred. Ronzi Contreras. Marion Rivera. Relic for the Yankees. That's for Isaac. More Wander Franco. Drew Ellis, studio autograph, 18 out of 49, gold foil. It's going to be for Matthew Linder and the Snakes. Vidal Brujan for the Rays. That will be for Dustin. A stack of hits are in the way here. And a plate. An O'Neill Cruz plate. Nice. Chronicles, O'Neill Cruz, one of one plate. Dustin Kemp, Pirates, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. That's nice. We needed one of those. There's an O'Neill Cruz again. For Dustin. We got Connor Wong to 10. Building blocks. Autograph for Boston, Chad Daw, and the Red Sox. Got a Jackson Coart. Some nice color there for the Royals. That'll be for Derek. 31 out of 49.
Lucius Fox autograph for Nestor and the Nationals. I thought he was with the Giants. He got traded. Raphael Devers, nice deep space, silver ink autograph. I'm really digging those. Really cool looking cards. That is for Boston, that's for Chad Da. I think a little tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Nice. Jake Myers to 49. Julio Rodriguez, relic for the Mariners, Dustin. Redemption is Cade Cavalli, who is might be a national. He is a national. That's a Obsidian autograph, Cade Cavalli. <laughs> yeah, it took to the thirty-second box, Chad, but uh, better, better than nothing. Better than nothing. All right, and one last Julio for Dustin and the Mariners. All right, recap time. Here is the first case. Oh, I don't know, Chad. Maybe you can DVR it, rewind a little bit. I'm sure I showed you the number. Or I'll, I'll look in the, the recap. So this is the first case. There's a Spencer Torkelson, Suzuki, Bruhan, Redemption. Juan or Franco autograph in that studio design. Oh, Bobby Witch, yeah, that was a nice run of boxes right there. That Wood Maryfield, that's a blue ink. I mean, I think he used the wrong one, but there's that silver ink autograph. That would have been that would have been cool. Your Devers not numbered, by the way, those deep space ones not numbered. Plate, Bruhan, studio autograph. Rivera Relic. I think we saw another one of those deep space ones too. I think that Gold Rush is a pair of another Wander Franco as well. That Gold Rush Relic might be a, might be a short print. And the, there's the Jordan Alvarez Deep Space. O'Neill Cruz RPA was cool. And there you go, friends. That's that. Thanks for the fill. Thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.